Okay, so I just decided to make some random tutorial for PMD Editor on how to do stuff. I'm too lazy to put annotations in Windows Movie Maker stuff, so I'll just do a voice tutorial. First, I guess I should explain the basic functions. I've been meaning to redo my first tutorial. But this only works with the old one. I have version, version 4.45. The newer one has different options and stuff. I don't know how to use them. Anyway. First, the main thing. This is the editor. This is where you can edit the bones and the polygons. Polygons are these little green d boxes. Those are polygons. They make up the model. Turn them on and off by clicking here. It makes it easy to find layers this way. If you go into here, click here, and then you can see what that is on what layer. For this, for some reason, I have to add zeros here. Otherwise, it'll do this. When I just move it slightly. You probably won't have to. I think it's just my computer. So you can highlight these. Move them around with this. You have to be careful you don't make them overlap oddly. Like randomly pulling out pieces or you'll get black lines. Which aren't very pretty. This is the bone editing tab. Make sure to turn on the end bones. Which is clicking here. See these are end bones. Oops, I got a heart hand bone in there. You usually wouldn't see them, so some people don't realize when they don't delete them or move the other bones that it screws up the model. You can uh, move multiples at once, but when you press undo, of course. And of course, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, it's a bit late, sorry. Anyway, so you edit bones. If you like shrink the hair or something, sorry for the laziness. Like I said, it's getting pretty late. Oops. I put one too many zeros, or maybe not. If you shrink it like this. You have to move the bones along with it, otherwise it'll glitch, but there's more. You also have to move the physics. And to delete bones, you highlight them and do this. Of course, that's going to screw it up, so don't. Careful not to delete any body bones ever. You'll completely ruin the model. So, for physics, click these two boxes. See how the joints don't stay. You have to move them. Oops, you turn on the bones. You have to move them to stay with the. Bone joints. Uh, zoom in. Not working. What happened to the bones? I don't see them. Oh, it's easier if you turn this off. You don't really need those. They move automatically. Oops, I hit the microphone. Anyway, moving it up. We go like this. And there, realigned. You gotta do that with every single one. Otherwise the physics will be broken and horrible. I don't really know how to add physics, so this is all I have to go on. Oh, and by the way, another random fact. If you click on this, it'll mirror it. Oh, I got it on bone. Some models don't mirror well, though, so be careful. Any other random things? Well, there's the delete layer. You click on it, I mean, right click, and press P. It'll delete the layer. No Miku has no hair, and no back of her head either. To save something as a new layer, like say, I want her tie on a separate layer so I can recolor it. Well, I don't, but if you did. Do this, press S, 
It'll save it as a new layer. Now you can recolor it. Over here. No, wait, it's the second one. Over here. You can rename these two if you want. So. Green stuff. <laughs> of course, it doesn't stay. If you reopen and close the. I mean, if you close and reopen the model, it'll be gone. How the heck did that get up there? I think I accidentally moved it with your hair. Well, let's undo a bit. And I uh, forget it. It doesn't really matter. She just got a felt thing sticking out of her side. <laughs> what else is there? I forgot there's some. Alright, the color tab. I figured out most of what this does. Turn off the bones. They're annoying. First. This is obviously color. This here is the shininess. Makes it shiny, it's hard to tell. You can see a little difference. This is the transparency. 0.999 is good because then. Which level is the skirt? Well, no, I'm not trying to get any pants shots, but. Do I have the wrong layer? Oops, I'm putting it in the wrong space. See? Now it looks all nice and no black or clear stuff. You can get rid of the line too. See, no more line. Wait, I think I already accidentally did that. Oops, that's a cue. Of course, you can do that in LND, so there's really no point. It's just if you want to add a line. This is the tune. It makes the shading different. If you're gonna stay in tune one, two, or three, or it might screw up with the self shading in the new MMD. And that's about all there is to the basic tutorial. Ah, oh, this mode, test mode. So if you want to test out the new hair bone you made or the shortened hair bone, you can do that here. Of course, for me, it tends to go too fast. This is the joint tab. We're going to the joints. This is where you edit the normal physics. You can add them by pressing A. Oops, wrong. See, now we have a new physics body here. But I don't want to. Same here if you press A. I believe P deletes them. No, wait, R does. But you can also press just delete. And it'll ask. This is, I don't remember. This has to do with adding IK bones, but I seem to have forgotten and I can't seem to remember how. These are the expressions. You can add one actually. Just press N. One of Pony has a good tutorial on this though. Then you just. You can do anything really. Forgiving your claws by like stretching the end of her finger. I really screwed up because I don't have it on layers. Even making her sleeves longer, let's see. Um. This is where you write the name. This one is I. Uh, I can't read the others. Uh, I think that says extra. Deep, lip. Uh, mouth. Mayu. Um, I guess that means eyebrows. This is the other. So. Oops, that meant keep editing. I don't want to keep editing. You can test that in test mode too. Right here. Extractions are here. Now her sleeves will go. It's about the end of this tutorial for basic things.
I guess adding expressions isn't really basic. <laughs> Whatever.